Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, December 2nd, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a little cat wandering around and my beautiful Advent wreath lighting up the darkness before the sun rises. Brilliant light that is almost white on the flame. And then I also have with me this beautiful picture of an angel. Also lots of light, white and gold, yellow. She seems to be emanating light. Like the stars behind her and the explosive star above, which seems sort of to be in another realm. We continue today in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is telling a parable, but he's telling this parable to Pharisees and scribes. And it's a parable about a vineyard. A man comes in and plants a vineyard and digs a wine press and puts a fence around the wine press and builds a tower and then he leaves. And he leaves it in the hands of tenants. And then he sends some of his servants to get the produce and the tenants throw the servants out and kill some of them. So he sends some more servants, same result. Then he says, oh, well, I'll send my son. Surely they'll treat my son with respect. But they throw the son out of the vineyard and kill him. And Jesus asks the Pharisees and scribes, what do you think will happen to these tenants? And they say, well, he'll, he'll throw them out and get new tenants who will give him the fruit of the land. Jesus looks at them and says, so it is with you. You don't produce the fruits of the kingdom and you will be thrown out. And they hate him. They want to kill him, but they can't because his following is so large. But as we know, they will eventually. I wonder sometimes I'm very, very troubled by the state of the church across this nation and much of the world. The established church that we know is really shrinking dramatically and it is changing. It's becoming much smaller. And I wonder sometimes if we're doing this, if we're condensing because we kind of thought we owned Christianity. We kind of thought we knew Jesus and could speak for him in a way that was not of servants, but more of masters. Maybe it's time for us to remember that we're the tenants caring for the house, caring for the vineyard, but it's God that calls the shots. And then so instead of being entrenched in our old British colonial ways in the Episcopal Church, we're going to need to be flexible and innovative in ways we've never been before to welcome in people that are very different from us, to admit that it's not our vineyard at all but Christ's vineyard, to listen, to learn, do things so differently. There are such areas of, of growth and inspiration, uh, small groups, little virtual offerings. The Holy Spirit is definitely bringing new life, but in such different ways. But the idea of, of, of requiring people to come to church each Sunday is no longer something that people will all do. And I, I admit that I find that very sad because to me, that's the heartbeat of practice of worship is actually sitting physically in the pew. But many people are not coming back, um, finding different methods of feeding their souls. And who am I to stand in the way of that? It's not my vineyard. It's not any of our vineyards. It belongs to God and God's son. Who are we to know what kind of fruits will be born? What kind of produce will be passed on? What kind of kingdom will be built? I guess it's our job just to continue to listen and follow. 
and give God all the glory for the miraculous things that do happen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the gift of your scripture that challenges us every time we read it. We thank you for the gift of your son who told us these strange and beautiful stories that echo and resonate through the centuries, thousands of years later. We ask that you would guide us today in all that we do, that we may follow your Holy Spirit and not our idea of how things should be, that we will remember that we are tenants and not owners of this land, this world, this church, this vineyard. Bless the sick, Lord Christ. Bless the dying, the hungry, those who struggle or are in pain. Bless our medical workers as we get ready for perhaps another variant of the virus. Lord, guide us and strengthen us. Give us wisdom and patience and blanket this earth with your peace and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.